Foundation. I mentioned that we were going to have to get our shit together and get our shit together. We need to do. First and foremost, I just wanted to acknowledge everyone who participated in the show. Go to hell. It was a uh, great main event. So, Bobby, even though you have been my greatest opponent in recent years, the door's still open for you to be here in the GOP. Success is the greatest revenge of all time. And that's what I'm offering you, Bobby. It's totally up to you. Since my brother Ramboa hasn't shown up in some time, I plan on going to WGP and uh, taking over the Wild Ghetto Court Puerto Ricans, but we need to put them in their place first, and uh, we will have a way of doing that. As you know, uh, Franklin Benjamin is our FT. W champion and will display that again at whatever next show that they're that we're going to put together so we're gonna make sure that happens since I don't get the pleasure of uh, facing down and defeating my brother there's only one person left and Bobby should be easy pickings for you hopefully we'll see what happens at that point speaking of somebody who should be on my team Mr. Wallace I need you to start figuring out which side you want to play for because i cannot protect you from at if you're going to continue to do the things that you do for wgp i will not stand behind you i appreciate you standing behind me when bwo came for me but i can't help you i can't help you here because you have to choose a side and right now you're looking very wgp -ish. i appreciate you my brother but you gotta handle AT, you gotta handle that business. I cannot help you with that. AT, you should not have attacked Mr. Wallace on the show, but I understand, handle your business. But that don't mean we let shit slide. WGP will get what's coming to them for what they did to you. It's just that, you know, you are gonna have to handle Mr. Wallace because we're not gonna do that. He's still foundation, understood? Brothers, I hope y'all figure it out and come back to the winning team and get y'all shit together. <sighs> Speaking of people who are getting their shit together and backstabbing people, you guys did see Master Sean Puff walk in with us, right? At the last show, y'all saw him walk in with us? So, I guess I should have been surprised when that backstabber, the Vagabond, decided to take him out. I have, there's so many things I want to say about you, Vagabond, but I think, I think it'll all be handled. Matter of fact, I'm going to go talk to Haywood right now. He's supposed to be making a return on the show. And since we're on cordial terms currently, let's see if we can make some things happen. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Blueprint. I'll see y'all later on. As your host, the owner of WGP, the owner of the foundation. And if it wasn't for this damn hacker, this damn hacker that keeps ruining the foundation shows, I have had my best people looking into this. And I can assure you, hacker, that very soon you will be revealed. But tonight we have two 
big matches coming off the heels of WGP's Halloween Chaos, where the foundation infiltrated the show, coming off of the heels of Go to Hell, where WGP infiltrated our show tonight in our opening contest, we will see that Turncoat Wallace take on the foundation's newest member, AEP, and that happens right now. Oh, you, you don't, you don't know who I be? See, A.E. motherfucking P. That's my brother. I'm his other brother. A.E. motherfucking Putin. See, y'all don't know who I be over in Foundation. See, I only appear over in that other place, HFP. See, but I came here today. And motherfucking foundation to talk to my motherfucking brother AE motherfucking P. See what 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 wrong with you, bro? AEP, what wrong with you, bro? You 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 not thinking right. You ain't thinking right. Why would you accept any match to go against Mr. Wallace? Huh? What you thinking? You, you, you been smoking too much of the herbal in your secret garden. See, I told mama to get rid of that garden because it be messing with my head. Because you ain't thinking right. Because A.E. motherfucking B ain't got shit on Mr. Wallace. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So I don't know what you were thinking that you were going to be Mr. Wallace. Mr. Wally, give me a phone call. I said, hello. A.E. motherfucker put in here. He said, yo, what's wrong with your motherfucking brother thinking he can beat me? I said, he tripping. No worries. I'll substitute for you. So here I am. A.E. motherfucking put in to be my brother. Be some sense into your motherfucking head because you tripping, boy. You tripping, boy. You ain't You on that shit But What's even better Is that my hat Is better than my butter My gloves Is better than my brother's Hell My gloves Must my hat So that automatically Make me better Than my brother See A.E. motherfucking P Ever since we were little boys Since we little kids You thought you with the shit and I tried to tell you, one day, I'm going to show you that A.E. motherfucking Putin is better than A.E. motherfucking P. And that's on air that foundation. Y'all might want to get the contract ready for A.E. motherfucking Putin. Because A.E. motherfucking P, he D-O-A. Mr. Wallace, it's been a minute. My brother, how you doing, man? The last time me and you getting to ring each other, boxing match. The rumors care about you, Mr. Wallace. They think you knocked me out. The rumors. It's a liars. You cannot knock me out, Mr. Wallace. You tell me your hands cannot knock me out. How the hell you gonna knock this tall monster on this ring, Mr. Wallace? And also, Mr. Wallace, you think you are the most dangerous man in promo wrestling. Are you? Mm -mm. No, Mr. Wallace. I'm going to tell the truth. Who is the most dominant top monster today? It's me, Mr. Wallace. You're not the one 
who is the most dangerous man in five nation is a e motherfucker p not you mr wallace you now been more dangerous than me i know me and you, we almost beat Sness and his tag team partner earlier this year. We almost beat them, Mr. Wallace. We should have a dangerous fashion between me, you, and A.E. Putin. But, Mr. Wallace, I still the most dangerous man in this company. Mr. Wallace, I know me and you still cool. But tonight, it's going to be my night again. Last week, Dagger Bun is right. I'm not doing nothing in WGP. You know why, Mr. Wallace? Because WGP is screw me. WGP. Do not see a star like me cannot shine because they just of me. But tonight in Blueprint, I'm going to start over again. Start with you, Mr. Wallace. I know you got lost last week against A.T. But tonight, Mr. Wallace, you're not going to be lucky tonight. You're getting the win with the most dangerous killer in this company. You're getting the win with this monster. I know you try to do a fake ass Undertaker gimmick. I'll tell you what. Lightning cannot hurt me. The cassette cannot hurt me. Mr. Wallace, you can't hurt me. You had no balls not put me down in this wing. You had no balls not try to kill me. Mr. Wallace, I tell you what, man. You come from the hood. I know you come from the Kansas City. Hoods not be scary. I'm not a hood. But I'm going to tell you what, Mr. Wallace. I'm going to show you what the hood is all about. And Ms. Wallace, knock me out. Knock me out in this ring, Mr. Wallace. But you do not know what I'm going to do to you. I'm going to choke you out. I'm going to make you tap out tonight. And you can't breathe, Mr. Wallace, because you gone. Your winner, Mr. Wallace. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Wallace picks up another big win coming off his victory at Go to Hell in a Last Rights match where anything goes. And speaking of anything goes, it's time we get some damn order around here. Now, when I separated WGP and the foundation, I expected healthy competition. Instead, we got the foundation ruining WGP's show, WGP ruining the foundation show. And I've listened to what the promo observer has to say. So first, let me address this elephant in the room. Mr. Wallace, as far as the foundation goes, you will no longer be competing in the foundation for the whole month of November. You want to represent WGP? You go right ahead and represent WGP. Because in November, the Foundation and WGP will present a two-night show where the stars of the Foundation will take on the stars of WGP and the winning league of the most matches will win the damn month and get the bragging rights so you can put that in your pipe, Wallace. You don't get to play both sides anymore. Furthermore, no competitors, and I mean no competitors, will interrupt another group show until reunion and 
I have those matches booked and paired. Let's take a special look at them now. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you WGP versus the Foundation Reunion 2024. Imagine me and you, I do. I think about you day and night. It's only right to think about the girl you love and hold her tight. So happy so to be together. together. I can't see me loving nobody but you for all my life. When you're with me, baby, the skies will be blue for all my life. Reunion 2024, presented by WGP and the Foundation, will be the defining moment in the brand split where one brand will claim supremacy over the other one. 11 matches over two nights. Who will come out on top? But now it's time. It is time for our main event. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you... A-List Alverson, the prototype champion, defending against the golden boy, Gene Emerson, in a bare bones match for the prototype championship. And that match happens right now. <laughs> Blueprint Foundation. A list Alverson. You and I go back a long, long way. Should I talk about how I helped you get into this industry? Should I talk about how proud I am to see my little seedling be the superstar I knew you could be? Or do I talk about how we were supposed to become a big deal? That fell through. I know this is our first meeting here in the foundation. But we've touched many other times, many other places. And yes, it's never really truly gone my way. But A-List Alverson, when I see in your eyes, it's not confidence or overconfidence. I see you're scared. I'm the one thing in this industry that scares you the most. And you can talk to your blue in the face. You can talk the birds out of the trees. Hell, you could sell ice to Eskimos. And that'll all be true. But you're scared of me. You're scared to face me one on one. And here tonight, here tonight, I take you out of your element to see if you fuck up. If you mess up just once. There's nothing to save you. There's no edits. There's no fancy music. There's no montages. There's only what you say on the screen. One take. Bare bones. And A-list Alverson, you know as well as I do who's the best at this. See, A-list Alverson, you're not getting Gene Emerson Emerson, no. Hell, you're not even getting the guy who beat Trent. Hell, you're not getting that guy. No, who you're getting here tonight is not the Canadian Crippler. No, you're getting the Canadian Dragon. You're getting the Nova Scotian Nightmare. You're getting that guy that goes deep down into places that nobody else will go. And I drag out those things that scare you 
So A-list Alverson, I know you don't want to lose that prototype title because you need that. Even though that you want to talk how you're the number one draft pick without that title. Could you really be number one here in foundation? Well, we're going to find out. Because A-list Alverson, after tonight, everybody's going to know why the house always wins. Why I show up, I show out, and I showcase the reason why I am who I say I am. And why you're never better than the devil himself. A-list Alverson, I'm not one to garner or to snuff out an opportunity. So I'm here to take what is mine, and that is that prototype title. A-list Alverson, you're mine. You know, it wasn't a long time ago that A-List Alverson made a promise, a declaration, you could say, that this here yellow belt was going to represent uncharted territories, frontiers, and new horizons in the Foundation Promo League. Because A-List Alverson has always been the trendsetter, the innovator, the man that does it first anywhere in the promo environment. And I'm a guy that follows orders and directions, and suddenly it comes to me that I've got to defend the prototype championship against Gene Emerson in a bare bones match. Now, Gene Emerson's a threat to my title, but he's not just a threat to my title tonight. He is a threat to the foundation of what I have declared this title to represent. And that's not all his fault. The people that are in charge at the Foundation Promo League seem to misunderstand and be so off the mark about what it is I'm trying to achieve that it is insulting to me. This title belt right here doesn't say gimmick match champion. It says prototype champion someone that does things first breaks new ground gene emerson is not a prototype he's a stereotype not only is he the biggest copycat in the block but i've got a history with gene emerson that goes back deeper than the foundation promo league as a whole and i think exactly now what i did from him then he ain't got an original or innovative bone in his body. And for him to come out and do bare bones. Let, let's, let's dive back a little bit. The idea that a bare bones match is something that is fit for the prototype championship. I said we were going to do new and unknown things in promo land. And a bare bones match represents the most primitive, unimaginative, an old style of promo that anybody can think of. That's how wrong the production team is about what the prototype championship means. People say bare bones as in it's some kind of weapon where you can't do what I do by just push and go and straight across and having the flow to go. No! Bare bones means I can't do anything except turn the button on, talk, and then keep going until I'm done. Now, A-List Alverson is a man of multiple talents. I can make any kind of promo you want to see. Gene Emerson is a man of limited talent. He can do one style, one way, and then dress it up a bit. But for tonight, I promise you, A-List Alverson... And Gene Emerson is going to be a disgrace to what this title means. I have so much more to offer you. You have so much more that you need to present to me. Foundation Promo League, Gene Emerson. I am the top guy anywhere. I am your number one draft pick. And I have to take on a man who is a disgrace to the brand. To prove what? I told y'all before, you ain't ready for what I'm doing. One, two, three. 
your winner A list Alverson, ladies and gentlemen, A list Alverson defeats Gene Emerson and retains the prototype championship here in a bare bones match. As we have seen tonight, both of these men will play a crucial role in reunion. I'm Hollywood Haywood. If you like what you saw tonight, make sure that you hit that like and subscribe and allow notifications from our Facebook channel. We'll see you next week as the Foundation presents another episode of Friday Night Blueprint.